Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. One of the things that a lot of my clients have been asking me for is um, menus for their categories, their product categories, which fly out from the left or which drop down from the top. Um, the principle is pretty much the same, but I want to show you how we do it. The, um, the first few minutes of this will probably not mu be much use to those of you who are my clients because I will do all the setting up for you. But if you're not one of my clients and you want to know how to do this yourself, then the first few minutes should help. So what you do is you go to Appearance and then to Menus and you'll see a screen something like this. I've already got um, two menus set up, but I need to create a new menu which is going to be all my product categories. I'm using WooCommerce and so all my products are divided into categories. So I go create a new menu and I'm going to call this one product categories, create menu. And I'm already created a place on the website where this is going to go. So I want to put it in here. I want to put it onto my front page. Um, I'm using a theme system called Headway Themes but um, you'll need to have a, you know, whatever you're using for your themes, you'll need to have a place to put this menu. So we can put that there. The other thing we need to do is that you can see here we can choose all our um, pages, we can choose our links, we can choose categories. Now these are not um, product categories, these are uh, blog post categories. And we can also choose slide categories, but there's nowhere here where we can choose product categories. So what we need to do is go to screen options and then tick on product categories turn screen options off and here we've got product categories so let's turn pages off and we'll go product categories okay so now we've got all of our product categories so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go view all and I've noticed I just noticed for this one I've got two pages of it so that'll be interesting we'll go select all and add to menu just wait while this wheel thing spins here and now we've got those products all added and I'll go to page 2 and I'll select all and I'll add those to the menu as well. There's quite a few product categories in this particular website. So now what I've got is I've got all my product categories all listed in a big long list here. Now what I need to do next, and this is going to be a little bit time consuming, so I'll get started on it but then I'll pause the, the video until I've, you know, I've finished it, is I need to rearrange these into their categories and subcategories. Um, for example, here's a main level category, here's a subcategory below that. So all I do is I hold down my left mouse button and I click on that and I drag it across. Okay, So I'm just going to drag it across like that. Now I'm going to need to go away and have a look at the original um, category list so that I understand the structure that's required here. But this is basically how we do it. We just set them all up. You can also change the order that the categories are going to appear. So for example if you want this one to appear down here you can click and drag and drop. Okay, So, so that's how you do that. Now I'm just going to pause while I set all the hierarchy up on this. Okay, so I've gone through the list and I hope I've got it right. Um, I'll just go down. Some of them are categories below other categories. And then some of them, actually where I go to here, we've got three deep. So to make it a sub-subcategory, you just indent it one more indent. Okay. Um, just in case you're looking at this and thinking this doesn't look like what I've got, this is the version 3.6 of WordPress um, at the moment that's the most recent version so and, and there have been some changes to this particular screen since the previous version and there may be more changes in the future but at this stage this is the current latest version. Um, so what I want to show you is right down the bottom of this we've got a thing that says automatically add new top level pages to this menu. In this case we do not want to tick this. Um, this does not automatically add new top level product categories to it. Okay, It would automatically add new top level pages which might be an information page like contact us or something like that. So we don't want to add these to this product menu, uh, product category menu. So when we've finished all that and in versions before 3.6 that thing is at the top of the screen not at the bottom. So we go save menu and it says that it has been updated so I'm just going to pause for a moment and go and have a look at my website and make sure it's worked 
and this is the home page of my website if I scroll down you will see the old default product category as it is in a widget and then if we look up here this is the one that I've just added now the formatting I need to go through and fix up but if, if I go down here and I um, hover over Clover remember I had subcategories under Clover then these are the Clover subcategories here so what I'll need to do is do a bit of formatting with CSS which I'm sure that if you're capable of setting up a website you can fiddle with the CSS um, I want to change the formatting of this so that it looks a bit nicer I want it to actually expand over here somewhere um, so that it just looks a bit nicer but that's the basic principle now in the future if this client wants to add a new category what she'll do is she will go to products to categories and she will add her new category in the normal way and then she'll have to come here to appearance and to menus and select menu to edit she'll select the product categories menu and then she'll have to find under the product categories section the one that she has just added and it might not be in the most used it might need to be found in the view all and it may be on the last page if you've just added it it may be in the last page it could be anywhere and there's a search so that you can find it and then once you have found the one that you want to add let's say if it was this one for example you tick on it and you click add to menu and then that would add it right down the bottom so then you need to drag it and drop it to where you want it to appear in the menu. So that's how you add a new menu item. Similarly, if you um, delete a menu, uh, sorry, delete a product category, and you want to remove it from that menu, want, after you have deleted the product category, it will still appear in the menu. So you'll need to come in here and you'll need to. Um, actually delete it so to delete it you find the one that you want to delete in the list here you click on here and you go here to remove and you click on remove and it will remove it for you okay so that's how you manage the fly out and the same principle applies to the drop down um, product category menus let me know if you have any questions about that see ya one thing I did forget to say was that when you use the default widget type of um, product category structure like this it will only display the product categories that actually have products in them but when you do the menu setup like what I just showed you it's going to show you all the product categories so you might need to um, just check it, you know if you want all the product categories shown that's great if you don't want all the product categories shown then you might need to you know manually add and remove those that you don't want shown if they don't have any products in them and of course my dog has just brought the ball in <laughs> wants me to play with her so I think it's time to stop this recording see ya